Hi guys, Rick Damoth here with Cowtown. I've got a young man here I'd like to meet, like to get you to meet. His name is Ben. Ben Boyer. Ben Boyer. Mm -hmm. Ben and, and his friend, they have developed a tool, a jet tool, that I really think that everybody that owns an outboard jet, no matter what brand it is, you're going to want to own this tool. And I'm going to bring, kind of let him show you a little bit about this. Ben, just take your time, no big deal. If you All stumble right. and stammer, join the family. They'll yeah. understand. They'll, they'll understand. Well, we're, we have company, Jet Medic LLC. This is our tool, the Jet Medic tool, our Jet Medic wrench. And uh, it does several different things. Um, the most common use of it is going to be to dislodge stuff out of this intake grate. And I'll show you. This pin right here is made to span across the intake bars, and this hook right here is made to grab a hold of whatever's in there. So if you stick this up in there, you can see it reaches way up in there by the auger. You can pry stuff right out with it. Doesn't matter how far apart these are bent, it'll grab one side only and pop it out. And if you get up into the shallow end here where this won't work anymore, this curve here has got you covered. You can pop stuff right out like that. Now if you suck something up in there so far you can't pry it out with these these portions of the wrench this small end right here this closed end wrench is made for grabbing a hold of your shoe bolts so you can get all those loose and once you get this intake shoe off this portion right here is a little milled section you can see how skinny it is right there it reaches up in there it grabs those tabs on your retainer washer and you can pry them right out of the way real gentle and then this section here it'll grab your shaft nut you can spin the shaft nut off, and now you can take your whole assembly out, reshim it, move the stuff out of the way, put it all back together with the same functions, and before you even get started, go ahead and put your lanyard on and cinch it up so that if you're doing this on the river bank, you don't end up dropping it in the water. You can sit there, drop it, and you won't be out 35 bucks or whatever they retail for. So um, that's about it. Uh, oh, I forgot one thing. If you do end up sucking something in here, it spins it through the jet and spits it out the other end. You can use this small portion of the hook. You can grab the, the trim tabs here on your exhaust tube. You can move it one way or spin it around and move them the other, whichever way you gotta, you gotta bend them. And that, that pretty well sums it up. You know, the, the goal here is to make it so that if you have this on your boat, you know you'll make it back home. You know, I've been doing this jet deal now. Well, I'm 65 years, 65 years old and grew up on the current river. And we, you'd have to pack a screwdriver or a, you know, you, a whole handful of wrenches. to Socket and ratchet was really handy. But to bring this down to one tool, to one tool, guys, this is, I see a lot of guys bring stuff through here for me to, to purchase and to use and to sell. This is going to be about as handy a deal as I think. Hey, is I think you're going to find. Hey Shane, will you bring that other one over here? Um, just an additional note here. Okay. Uh, this pump, this one right here, um, it's made so that if you have a half inch nut or bolt holding your shoe on, this is going to correspond with your shaft nut. Now for those guys that run a little bit smaller jet, this is our medium wrench right here. If you have a 7 16 shoe bolt, this is going to be the shaft nut that will work for you. But in order to get around the, the clearance issues with the casting on the intake shoe, we'll give you a packet of these eight stainless steel bolts. And they have a, let me get one out here so you can see what they look like. They got a smooth flange on it, and they're made so that they fit right in here. This is a 3 8 head though with a flange, so you can replace your factory bolts with these 3 8 ones and you got two extra in there in case you drop one in the water. So, so they got it all figured out. And, you know, I can see the, the, uh, the wheels are turning. You, you can't fool and try to weld you up a tool to make this for this kind of money. <laughs> so guys, give us a call. Uh, we'll be glad to help you. And uh, I mean, this is, on, they're showing us on the 250, the new generation two Evinrude, but in reality, it's going to fit Yamaha, Mercury, Suzuki, any, any of these, this is going to fit. So if you've got an interest, give us a call, 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Ask for Bo. He'll be able to take care of you on this. Thank you, guys.